Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing well. Today's video topic is how to install Windows 11 and in this process you need a USB pen drive of minimum 8 GB of space. So without wasting your time, let's start the process. First you need to create a USB bootable pen drive of Windows 11. For this, click on your browser, open your browser and type Windows 11 then press enter now you will see the official website of microsoft click on this url download windows 11 now here you will see this option before installing please refer to the pc health checkup app to confirm your device meets the minimum system requirements for windows 11 so click on this option pc health checkup now here you will see the download option download pc health checkup app click on it downloading process started now click on this software to run the software of pc health checkup installation has been started now it's done minimize this page click on your windows icon then scroll down and you will see the software this is the software pc health checkup click on it so this is a software pc health checkup now click on this option check now now click on this option see all results and here you can see this pc meets windows 11 requirements and you can see all the options are tick as you can see here my PC supports secure boot and I also have TPM 2.0 enabled. My processor is also supported for Windows 11 and the RAM we required for Windows 11 is 4 GB but I have more than that 8 GB. Storage is also enough. So this is how you can check your uh, PC is available for Windows 11 or not. Now move on to our next step create windows 11 bootable pen drive open your browser again and scroll down you will see this option here create windows 11 installation media so download this software this will help you to create a bootable pen drive of windows 11 click on this option download now and if you want to download windows 11 iso image you can go for this option download windows 11 disk image you can also uh, download windows 11 iso image as well with the help of this option but right now i'm going to create windows 11 installation media so download the download the software then you will see the software media creation tool just click on it to run the software wait for a few seconds and you can see the setup has been started now click on accept if you want to change the language just untick this option and you can select your language then click on next and here you have two options usb flash drive or iso file so if you want to download a windows 11 iso image go for this option but right now we are going to create windows 11 bootable uh, flash drive go for this option usb flash drive and you can see the line here it needs to be at least 8 gb of uh, your uh, storage in your usb pen drive so make sure you have a pen drive of 8 gb select this option then click on next now connect your usb pen drive so i connected my usb pen drive this is my pen drive as you can see so before we start you need to format your usb flash drive once so I will show you how to do it. So this is my USB pen drive of 8 GB. First, you need to format your USB pen drive. Right click on it. Then click on this option format. And one important thing, if you have any important data in your USB pen drive, take the data backup first. Okay. Then click on start. And click on OK. And you can see it's done. Close. 
now minimize this and then refresh click on this option refresh a drive list click on it and this will automatically detect your usb pen drive then click on next and the process has been started this process will take around 15 to 20 minutes so i will fast forward this video so my usb flash drive is now ready click on finish now remove your pen drive now let's start the installation process so this is my windows 11 bootable usb pen drive first i will connect my usb pen drive now uh, i have to open the boot menu so i'm using a hp laptop so in hp laptop you can use this skip key or you can use this f9 key to open your boot menu i will show you how to do it turn on your laptop and within a second start pressing this f9 key continuously to open the boot menu so this is the boot menu as you can see now you have to select your usb pen drive so this is my usb pen drive as you can see select your usb pen drive then press enter so this will boot your laptop with your pen drive wait for a few minutes this will boot from your usb pen drive so now you can see windows startup menu now let's start and install windows 11 now in windows setup click on next then click on install now Now select your Windows 11 edition. I will go for Windows 11 Pro. Then click on next. Take this option. I accept. Then click on next. Then click on the second option custom. And here you can see this is my 240 GB of hard drive. So first I will create a partition. So select the unallocated space. Then click on new. So I will create two partition. This is my first partition then select the second uh, unallocated space click on new apply so i created two partitions two primary partitions now i will select the bigger partition to install my windows 11 select the partition then click on next so the process has been started and this process will take around half an hour to complete so i will fast forward this video So the installation is almost completed now select your country then click on yes then select your keyboard layout then click on yes now you can skip this option a second keyboard layout now this will check for updates now uh, enter a name for your device you can type anything i will type tech click on next now set up your device so i will go for personal use click on next now enter your microsoft email id to sign in or you can use your skype details to sign in but if you don't have any uh, microsoft account you can create by just clicking on this option create one now enter your any email id or you can uh, get a new email address by clicking on this option now you will also get an option of create a pin so i will create a pin now my pc is all set click on next next then click on accept so the installation process has been completed and now i will show you the partitions which i created so this is my first partition my c drive and now i have to unlock my second partition so for this right click on this pc then click on show more options then click on manage now on the left side click on this option disk management so this is my c drive and this is my second partition so i have to unlock this partition by right click on it then click on this option 
change drive letter now i ha now i have to assign a drive letter to this uh, partition click on add now you can choose any drive letter it's up to you you can choose anything so then click on ok and now you can see my second partition has been activated now i will cut this window and i will refresh this is my second partition double click on it then click on format disk click on start click on ok that's it now click on close and you can see both the partitions are ready to use this is my first partition this is my second partition so this is how you can install windows 11 this is all for the video thank you